This is a video from the Preschool Environmental Experiences and Development Study, or PEDS team. And today we're going to walk you through the five-step process for collecting your home samples. Today, we will overview the process for collecting hair samples on day six or seven. To collect the hair sample, you will need the chain of custody document that came with your sampling kit and the hair sampling kit. Inside the sampling kit, you will find two alcohol wipes, a small note card, and a paper clip. From your home, you will also need a pair of scissors, a plastic comb, and hair clips if your child has long hair. You will get started with step one, get ready to sample. You can let your child pop into a seat like a booster seat, which is a safe, comfortable place where they can't move around too much, and then snap their seat on. Wipe the comb that you'll be using for your child's hair up and down and at the bristles, okay? Keep holding that. Next, you'll open the next swab. and get the scissors and then carefully open the scissors and facing down wipe the scissors as well and we're doing this just to make sure there's not any residue on there next we'll cover step two collect the sample you only need a small piece of hair from your child about half the width of my pinky or half the width of this pencil he has hair longer than two inches, so we're going to use the clips to help pin up his hair to collect from the right area in the back of his head. Once your child's hair is clipped up, it doesn't have to look perfect, but you want to look at a line basically running from their ears to the back of their head. And this is going to be the approximate location you're going to want to take a hair sample from. So we're at the back of his hair. It doesn't have to be a large sample. This is about the right amount. If you twist it up, you see it's about half the width of a pencil. You want to collect as close to the scalp as possible. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, this was the part closer to his scalp where I cut, and this is the bottom of his hair. And so I'm going to place the hair on this card with the scalp side at the top direction pointing towards the arrow, and I'm going to clip it. Okay, once the hair is trimmed and it's placed on the card, scalp facing up, you're gonna carefully place it back in the bag making sure no hair is sticking out, and seal it well. And the bag that you should place it in has the hair word with the icon and this barcode label. For children with short hair, less than two inches, you can collect smaller bunches of hair from two to three places in the back of their head, and then just put them directly into the baggie and seal it without using the card. If when trimming the hair, some falls on the ground, do not pick that up, don't worry about that. Just collect from the amount that you still have in your hands and place that in the bag. Once you've collected the hair sample, you will fill out the chain of custody document. At the bottom of the page, you will see a hair symbol and it'll say here. On the row, you can put the date and time that you collected the sample. Once you've entered everything on the chain of custody form, you've officially completed step five, care.